Sitting at the orchestra, I never will forget. I heard a noise just like a squeaking clarinet. A quick whiff, and I knew it was not a licorice stick. The scent that arose made the air quite thick. Now, humans normally do this over 20 times a day. They can be flammable because they are methane. Once let go, they travel 10 feet like a mist. A scientist who studies these is a flatulist. If we didn't, we'd explode. They relieve your heavy load. It's a healthy thing to do. It's just gas, not poo. Now, beans can cause a smell almost like a skunk. Asparagus and broccoli can also cause a funk. Lactose and fructose can bring you to your knees You might drink a glass of milk and then you cut the cheese Other names for passing gas can really be quite clever Squeak, toot, and air biscuit have stuck with me forever But growing up one concept I remember to this day You smelt it, you dealt it, is what my friends would say If we didn't, we'd explode they relieve your heavy load. It's the healthy thing to do. It's just gas, not poo. Now the moral of the story here is what our bodies do. Much like eating, sleeping, and breathing or going number one or two. Doing this is natural, but please be discreet. Did you know that you break wind mostly in your sleep? If we did and we'd explode, they relieve your heavy load. It's the healthy thing to do. 